Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to give the different styles to the text. Here I have already copy a paragraph, here is a paragraph and I have already write these style tags and now I am going to apply the style on this paragraph, different styles, write the paragraph selector and then first of all I am going to change the color of the paragraph. Here render it in the browser. Here when we load the file so this text have the black color and I am going to give it a color of blue. Now let's look at it and we can also give it the text align. If we give it text align you can align the text to the left, center and the right. Here I am going to give it the right. So now all the text is aligned to the right side. Here you can see that the text is skipped from this side to this side. And you can also align the text to the center. And you can also align the text to the left. So here you can see that the text is moved from this side to this side and you can the default value is the left side so you can check it on your own and you can also give it the value justify so what is the justify here I'm gonna copy this paragraph and increase the paragraph lines just so you can understand it clearly so now save it and render it here you can see that every paragraph line have the equal width every paragraph line have the equal width and this is called the justify effect so here I'm gonna remove it so then you can uh, understand it clearly here let's look at it so here you can see that all the lines have not the equal width so when we apply it so all the lines have the equal width here and you can also give it another property that is the text decoration here is the text decoration and you can decorate the text by giving it the value under line if we give it underline so the text is become underline here you can see that if we give the overline value the text is overline here you can see that the text uh, the line is on the upper side of the lines and you can also write the line through and here is the lines uh, over the text and you can also write the value the none so there is no te uh, style on it now let's check it this is a default value and you can also apply another property that is the text transform here is the text transform and you can give it the value uppercase so all the letters are converted into the uppercase here here you can see that all the letters are become uppercase and if we give it lowercase so all the letters is become lowercase and we can also give it the value capitalize so capitalize make the first letter of every word capital here you can see that first letter capital and you can also give it the value text indent so the space is added on the first line here I'm gonna give it 50 pixel here you can see that there is no space in the first line but here the space is created that is text indent and you can also apply the property line height so the line heights are increased here I'm gonna give it 30 pixel then you here you can see that the line heights are not much here the distance is created in the lines and you can also give the letter spacing so the spaces are created between the letters 
here is the 10 pixel so here you can see that the spaces are created in between the letters you can also give the word spacing now the spaces are created in between the words and you can also uh, specify the direction of the text here I'm going to write the direction there are two values of the direction first is that is default left to right I'm going to give it right to left RTL stands for right to left so now here you can see that all the text is started from the right to left here you can see that this line sh clearly shows the text is started from this point and you can also give the value that is the white space so what is the white space the white space remove the white space between the lines and the in other words it removes the new lines in the paragraph here I'm gonna give it no wrap value so now let's check it here you can see that the paragraph is in the single line and we cannot see it if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video in my next in my next video I'm gonna discuss how to apply the different font size, font family and different font effects on the text. See you in the next video.